Hey y'all, how's it going? I'm your girl Hugger Tail Shay. Thank y'all for being here and joining me. I greatly do appreciate y'all. Okay, make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe if y'all haven't already. Okay, so I don't know what the message is gonna be about today. I hope that y'all having a great Memorial weekend and just being safe. For those of you, enjoy your extra day off, relax, kick it, have fun with your family and friends, okay? All right, spirit. So, I don't know what's coming out today. All right. I haven't really asked anything in particular. All right. But we're just going to see. All right. Like I said, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe if you already haven't. And, yeah, let's get started. So, spirit, angels, gods, ancestors, holy divine, I ask that you please protect me as I get these messages out for the collective's highest good. Anyone coming to the channel being negative, sending any negative vibes, I ask that you please return my energy back. Okay, show the collector what they need to know in here at this time. Give them the clarity that they're seeking at this time. Even if they didn't know that they did it. Okay, whatever they need to know, spirit, please lay it out flat so I can be able to let the collector know. Thank you, spirit, for all the messages and for all that you do. Amen. Amen. All right. So let's see what we got going on. Let me pull this. All right. Sorry, I had to adjust the camera a little bit. So let's see what y'all messages today. Messages for the collectives. How do you spell All right. Spirit, what does the collective need to be aware about at this time? What? Do they need to know what is the most important messages for the collective's highest good? And as you know, I always pull two extras just for clarification, the overall energy. Okay. Over at the bottom of the deck, we got fake pages are watching you. Okay. I don't know what the messages that these messages are, but somebody, there's some fake pages watching on. Okay. For some of you, it's an ex, a past person. Okay. It could be either your ex or just somebody like a past friend, a past lover, another lover. Um, This could be a friend you work with, but whoever this is, it's a, it's a past energy. Okay. They're doing, they're, this is somebody here that's from your past, your ex. Okay. So, boom, there it is. Okay. We're going to, we're going to see the two overall energies, messages. In a minute okay so let's see what we got here you was what they prayed for all along oh so somebody here this 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 give me the vibe of somebody here who is now in a situation where now all they can do is watch you okay um i feel like you're not giving this person any conversation if you are it may be little to no conversation but you was what this person had prayed for all along okay this person was searching looking trying to to see what else was out there and for some of you it took for you to kind of pull back a little bit for this person to really see like, oh, wait, that's that's what I needed. That's that's the one. OK, even though you knew it, they may not have known it. Plan it off, but they're missing you. So somebody here, an ex, a past person um, is missing you. OK, they may not be showing it much or not showing it as much, but this is that mask. OK, this is that mask and they're masking their feelings. OK. Um, but this is somebody here who, who definitely is missing you. Okay. Yeah. This person could also be emotionally damaged. Okay. This person got a lot going on. They may not, they may not know how to feel when they need to. That's why this person could be playing it off instead of just stepping up and letting it out or letting it all out. They just give them bits and pieces. Some of you, they're not even showing anything at all. Okay. Let's see what it's got. Karmic sees you as a threat. Okay. So it's kind of like, we're going to see why this karma sees you as a threat, but for the overall energy, let's see. Using every tool to win you back and mad at themselves because the whole time you was their heaven on earth. Wow. So yeah, I see why this person could be a little bit trying to play it off because they could have thought somebody else was another situation was going to unfold differently and it didn't. Okay, another situation did not go what they thought they thought it was going to be. Now this person's emotionally damaged, emotionally, emotionally scarred. Okay, maybe this person has been this way, but maybe you kind of helped this person cope with certain things, and it's kind of like it didn't get to that point. 
Because whatever they were out here searching, whatever they're out here doing, you was the one with all the tools. You was the one with the tea, the sauce. But they were out here looking for more as if they were going to find something better. And they didn't, unfortunately. Unfortunately for them, you was you was the whole package. But if they would have took the time to see, they would they would have known that. You feel me? Like this person, if they would have would have been a better man or a better woman towards you, they would have known this. See, and now look, you're in this Queen of Swords energy. Some of you are not. Yeah, and they still love you two of cups but it's kind of like you just you're in your own world right now i want to make sure all these are turned up the right way um you know and it's kind of like they're like damn I, I missed out on something really good you know but we're gonna see why this comic is seeing you as a threat for some of you the comic may know that your person is missing you maybe they know you something isn't right with your person all the time okay this this comic is it's definitely catching on yes yeah, see because you're the empress but now you, you're not showing that nurturing, loving, caring energy anymore. Okay? So let's see what's going on. Spirit, help me clarify these messages for the collective eyes. Good. Somebody here also feels like it's just too late to make amends. They feel like, you know, they, they've done the worst. And they don't know how to come back from what they've done to you. How they treated you. How they let you down. They don't know how to come back from this. All right, so we're show the cut what they need to know in here at this time. Okay. One more good shuffle. All righty. Messages for the cut. Let me clarify. So clarify you was what they prayed for all along you was what they prayed for all along all right so all right seriously that last shuffle didn't feel good all right you was what they prayed for all along you was what they prayed for all along yep page of swords now this person is watching you trying trying mentally stuck on you Trying to trying to figure out how to get close to you. See, somebody here did went and 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 did their research and realized the, the collective the one. While I'm sitting up here acting stupid or sitting up here acting like I ain't got no home training, now all they can do is watch you. Okay, they're like, damn, look how good the collective look. <laughs> yeah, they 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 want to come in here being charming. Some of you they want to write you a let write you. Reach out to you as they've been watching you because, like I said, they're mentally stuck on you. But this somebody here who was working against you and giving to another third party situation, yeah, this person was holding back from you, but still at the same time trying to control you and be possessive of you. Why? Because you're the embers. So this person was living some type of double life, and I feel like it could have backfired. Clarify the page of swords for you is what they prayed for all along. Yep, and now this person is feeling this disconnection okay it's like they want to it's like they want to heal this connection but they don't know how to with you right now yeah see they still got a lot of love for you you are what this person prayed for and and it's been you since day one see and now they regret hold for, for holding back and not stepping up and not seeing what this relationship could have been and you know yeah which caused you to walk away because see you knew who you were you knew what you were bringing to the table, okay? Now this person, you done walked away, and now this person, you know, realizing you were it. I, maybe, maybe I what? Maybe me and Collective were supposed to have a family. This is what I was supposed to settle down with, you know? Now they don't. Now they, but they see, like I said, they thought something else was better or going to get better, for me, and it didn't. It did not get better. Now they sitting somewhere trying to trying to heal. Look, playing it off, but they're missing you. Playing it off, but they're missing the collective. Tell me about it, Spirit. Yep, told y'all. Somebody here, see, the more this, it's like, like I said, this person is still possessive over you. They still want you. They're still holding on to you, but at the same time, they got their own struggles and their own burdens. So for some of you, that's also why they're playing it off because they're like, I'm not even no good for the collective. I don't have nothing going for myself. I don't, I'm not financially stable. I can't keep nothing, you know, I can't keep a job. 
So it's like they already know that they're not their best selves right now. For some of you, that's why they stay in this player energy because it feels better. They don't have to, they can just, you know, they'll, they'll have a few lovers where they can just hit it and quit it and move on and get what they need. If it's money, whatever, they can just have a little fun. They don't have to take these people seriously. And I feel like this person, so that's why they play it off because they know they're no good for you anyways. One more. Playing it off, but they're missing the collective. Yep. And for some of you, they're going to come in here with an offer. Okay? Knight of Cups. So it just tells me like, I'm not saying they're not serious, but I feel like this person isn't doing too, too much on their end. Okay? They do love you and care about you, but this also has been a painful ending. Because like I said, for some of you, you are not no longer showing up for this person. You're no longer making sure this person's okay. Okay? I'm hearing something about you bringing this, being this person's bread and butter. But for some of you, they're not going to stop trying to come back around to you. Somebody's going to come back. Or somebody is going to be making their way back. There's somebody here who I feel like you're kind of motivating them to get out of another situation. Or you're motivating them to get right. You've been a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. But this person is going through a lot right now. They don't probably have no financial stability. They probably don't got nothing to their name right now. They're struggling. Why is the collective person emotionally damaged? What's going on? Because they're stuck in their ways, y'all. This somebody here who they could have sex addictions. They could have drug addictions. Somebody here who just don't know how to get out of themselves. And that's why it's if they continue to not try to, and this is somebody who's not healed. So spirit is right. This person person definitely is emotionally damaged. They don't they for some of you they feel like they're a puppet in their life. They feel like something bigger than them is take overpowering their life. They're like, damn, I keep getting, you know, these bad dreams or I'm doing good one minute, but this is like something is over this person. Like they feel like the devil was on their back. Clarify the devil for emotionally damaged. So that's why this person acts the way that they do. Because they're not healing. Look, and the magician in reverse in, in reverse. Somebody here, if they even if they wanted to, they're not able to manifest nothing good in their life, it seems. It seems like they're always fucking up on something. It's like they won't they want good things in their life. But for some reason, this way of thinking, this way of living, until they get out of that, they're gonna continue to be this way. And whoever comes along, they're gonna damage that person too. Because they are damaged. Hurt people, hurt pe hurt people, hurt people. Okay, this somebody here who who may not have some. They need some counseling. Okay, they they need they need to find God. I'm gonna be honest. Somebody here needs to find this person. Yeah, people will continue to walk away from this person until they get right. Clarify the magician in reverse for emotionally scarred. Yep. See the temperance in reverse. This is somebody here who. They're not able to heal right now. They they don't know how to heal. The temperance in reverse. Temperance in reverse for emotionally damaged. Yep. Not look. Somebody going through it. Nine of swords energy. Wow. Pray for your person, you guys. Pray for them. Because they, they think for some of these person, all they do is just kind of like they feel like they just want something different. But I feel like they just stay stuck. It's like they know they got the tools. See, like even them. There's somebody here who knows they can take action towards a new life leaving leaving the past behind moving forward doing things better but unfortunately they're stuck in their own way and that's why they're having late night sleeps that's why they can't function that's why you know they get themselves in other situations and it don't end up being what it is some of you you really tried to sit and invest in this person and love this person you saw past what others would have been like deuces you weren't so quick to judge you weren't so quick to walk away now this person don't know what to do Nine of Swords, emotionally damaged. Yep, some of you, they're losing money. Okay, like I said, somebody here is just very unstable. And for some of you, okay, it's getting to a point right now, I feel like in a person's life where they know they're getting older. Okay, they know they should be doing things differently. They should have things in their name. They should be more abundant. And for some reason, this person just wants to stay in this toxic devil 
unhealthy energy okay they keep these unhealthy patterns and that's why they can't manifest things in their life that's why they're not able to heal somebody here is stuck in their ways and it's not it's not healthy okay until it gets to that point where something here is just gonna have to end up moving forward and it's like you're moving on regardless you are you left that baggage behind see this person was dragging if they were taking all day thinking that you was going to wait for some type of commitment or you know wait to constantly figure this thing out y'all walked away because y'all was like i don't even i have a fear that i'm going to be sticking around i can't be like my mom and my dad or my cousins my sisters what they went through staying with a man or a woman for 10 15 years and not getting nothing in return okay y'all like no i'm not doing that I, i'm not gonna sit back and wait wait on you because you're emotion damaged Get your ass up, be a man, be a woman, and go take those healing classes. Go try, take those drug classes. Get yourself in a rehab. Do something. I cannot be that. I cannot be your punching bag when you want me to be. I cannot be somebody that, you know, literally, you know, or this person may be, if they're not hitting on you, maybe they say shit. And that's just as worse. Okay? That's just as worse. I dealt with somebody who was not abundant in their life. And when I was doing good for myself, they're up here mad and, and pouting. And I'm like, what is wrong with you? We we a relationship. What's mine is yours. But see, when it was their turn to shine, they forgot about me. You know? So it's kind of like, okay, you're not the one for me. Because we're supposed to clap for each other. And you're supposed to know that I have your back regardless. But that's how, for somebody, that's how this person was. They, they they were sitting around when you when you got your riches and stuff. But it was like when it was when it was when God blessed them, they didn't do right. And and for some of you that you're not the only person that this person didn't do right by. They did family this way. Family held it down, looked out for them, and then when they got out and got on their got on their feet or when they, you know, got picked their stuff back up, they, they started acting funny. Now look at their ass. Can't manifest nothing. Look, ain't nothing going good for this person. Nothing. The spirit, why does this karmic see the collective as a threat? Why does this karmic see the collective as a threat? Because for some of you, this karmic still feels like you your person is still working on things with you. Okay? Or they still know that your person is trying to be with you. Some of you, they when they see you, you looking always good. Yeah, look at you. You always looking good. You got yourself up. Okay? You may not even post too much, but... You know, this person could be really sitting, sitting taking their time, investing, seeing who who your friends are, who your people are, watching your stories. Okay, trying to trying to put two and two together, see if they see your person with with them. You know, this this karmic do the most, yeah. And it's a battle within themselves. Like this this karmic is is mentally stuck on you, mentally stuck on you. Karmic sees the collective as a threat. Why? Some of you, you look better than them and they know it. Yeah. <laughs> Why is the five of cups here? For some of you, this your person treats this karmic like an option. Yeah. For some of you, if they done spell work, I feel like that has came back on them. They regret doing that because now their life could be be horrible. Because that's the spirit. Why is this person in? Why is this karmic in? Through? Some of you, they regret talking to you. A karmic, a karmic re regret. Even though they see you as a threat, they regret even trying to do some spell work or work against you. Because you are very abundant. Okay? You are shining. Every time this person sees you doing good, you got your shit together. Okay? You always posting what you're doing. You may show bits and glimpses and pieces of your life, but not the whole thing. Okay, because what you got to prove anything for. And it's kind of like this person knows that whatever you do for yourself, what you're doing, they have a fear that when you are winning or showing your accomplishments and looking good, whatever, they, they feel like your person is rushing right into you. Because for some of you, they are. Your person, like I said, fake pages watches you. So it could be this karmic, their people. Okay, this could be your person watching you, seeing you win, seeing you glow up. And this karmic is, is watching and they know like, okay, well, damn. And, and for some of you, that's why. They know your person is always rushing to you. Because your person don't stay consistent with this karmic. They don't. They don't. Karmic sees the collective as a threat. Yep. Page of Pentacles. For some of you, they're not. Their money doesn't look good. They don't have much. But they see you. They want to be you, I feel like. 
Why is this karmic seeing the collective as a threat, spirit? Like I said, because I feel like your person is rushing in towards you. They feel like your person is always coming towards you. Knight of Swords energy. Yep. So this karmic has a fear that your person is going to leave them behind. Because like I said, little does karmic know for some of you, you're not even dealing with your person. You're not talking to them, but they are getting juggled. Your person does not take this karmic serious. Yeah, they, they're juggling. And, you, and they know your person still love you and still want to be with you. Some of you, your person is not letting this karma get too close to them. So it's kind of like your person is saving like their heart space for you. Okay, they're not allowing this karma to get too close. And that's also a threat to this karma. Yeah, see, look, they angry, honey. Because they really want your person. This, this person could have an obsession with your person. Okay, and like I said, this karmic is mentally stuck and trapped in you all because they know that you fulfill your person's wishes. They know you make your person happy. Your person ain't left you alone yet. Even knowing or knowing, not knowing or knowing. Using every tool to win the collective back. Yep. So you could be at a distance from this person, but I feel like somebody here is planning to come towards you. Okay. Um. Y'all may be on the other side of the world of this person, but somebody here wants to see you. I feel like they're planning on coming towards you, okay? And that could be every tool that they're going to use. So especially if y'all are at a distance, they're going to try to figure out how to get to you. Because look at the card. And some of you, they're wondering, I mean, you may not be too, too far from this person for some of you, but they still wonder where you at or how to get close to you. Because this person wants your forgiveness. They want a second chance. This person feels like y'all have unfinished business. This person wants you to have mercy on them collective they want you to know that there is still something in their heart for you and i feel like they want you know how the six of cups some of the six of cups it shows where they're giving to people where this person like no i want to give to you and only you i, I don't want to give to nobody else somebody here is trying to figure out how to get close to you or or come to you clarify the two of wands for using every tool to win the collective back yep because right now somebody here is stuck because they don't know what you're doing so they're like, well, I gotta, I gotta step up. But the more they sit, the more the, it's just time is gonna pass. Cause for some of you collective, y'all not budging. Y'all, y'all like, look, I ain't got time. I'm not coming to see you. I'm not going out my way. I'm not doing nothing. If you want me bad enough, you come and get me. Find me. Okay. <laughs> what did Boss Man Nilo uh say? He said, Let me look it up. Hold on. <laughs> So in this song, he says, he says, I, um, I, I never turn myself in. Do your job. Come and find me. Okay. That's what I'm hearing. That's what I heard. So that's what it is. You like, I'm not, I'm not going out my way for you. I'm not, you, you can find me if you want me bad enough. Like I'm not stunning that. Yeah. But see, this person must be stuck also because they are wondering like, if you're going to go off and go have a family with somebody else or you know, have they lost the opportunity to even try to create something here new with you, build with you, be in that financially stable energy, you know, actually be abundant with you, grow, you know, have children, settle down with they wonder, you know, being a being in a committed relationship with you. Using every tool to win you back. Yep. And for some of you, they're no longer conflicted but between you and someone else. Somebody here knows that you are the ones they're gonna marry and then settle down with. They know that, but it's going to take baby steps to the, to be able to rise to the top because this person got too much going on. Yeah, they see things from another perspective now. Okay? And I feel like they want a reunion. They want to come back. Why is this person no longer in this two of swords energy in reverse? Yeah, because they know. Somebody here knows. Some of you, they know. They knew all along you were the one, but this person was selfish. See? Greedy. Wanting money. Wanting to, to have things their way. They weren't focusing. you. Yep. And then for some of you, this other person may have had a little, a little change to give your person. You weren't doing it no more because why you've been there, you've done that. And you're like, no, I'm not going to do that. I, I'm not going to pay for your love. Or it was somebody was willing to do that. They will, they will, they were willing to pay that price to get what they wanted. Clarify the high priestess. What does this person know about the collective? What does their person know about them, spirit? That they see things from another perspective. They know you're the one. It's, it is it it is what it is. And for some of you, you're going to hear from this person soon. They're going to message you soon. 
trying to flirt with you. Some of they've been trying to flirt with you and, and get your attention, but some of you just don't really budging. But they, they're they wanting to know what's up with you. How are you feeling, collective? What can I do to win you back? I know I am stuck on you mentally, but I'm not stuck between you and somebody else anymore. That's what I'm hearing. This person says they're not stuck between you and somebody else anymore. Yet, why? Because it's you. They love you. They want. It's just y'all two, two of cups. It ain't gonna be then somebody else and and this karmic working working. You know, they want to give you an offer. It may not be much, but they're willing to say, you know what? I'm I'm willing to put my pride to the side, my ego to the side, and I really want us to work on us. I don't want to hold back anymore. I'm tired of being without you. Yep, somebody is starting to see the truth of the matter. It says, mad at themselves because the whole time you was their heaven on earth. Yep. And see, some of you, you're not opening up to this person. When I said before my iPad dad died, the song was playing by Rod Wade, Heart, Heart on Ice. So you definitely kind of put your feelings up. You put your feelings on safety. Okay, you've seen the signs. You know what you want now, okay? And and right now, your energy is showing this person a lot. And they're mad at themselves because they never thought that you would get to this point. Okay? Like, this is something... You are really standing on business. So, I'm going to congratulate y'all. Because y'all always get that card. Y'all get from the Queen of Swords to the Empress. Some of you always been this way. But, like, you really had to guard yourself. Some of you, you don't want to be like this. But it's also teaching you a lesson of how strong you are. That you don't have to keep going back to bullshit. Yep, and some of you they they realize you're a wish fulfillment. That's why they're they're unable to kind of release you and let you go like that because they know it's something there. Okay, this person think about you a lot, and the fact also that you are in this Queen of Swords energy. She's somebody here who's very guarded. She she ready to cut a, a bitch head off. Okay, she's not up for the bullshit. She's thinking more with her her logic mind, not her feelings. She kind of like I said, she put them feelings up, and she's not dealing with that right now. Okay, and I feel like. Not in a bad way, but this person's trying to think about a sneaky way to kind of win you back. Because like I said, there's been a lot of distance that's been created. So for some of you, they're using some type of tactics to either, you know, calling you, texting you, trying to come here with this charming energy. And some of you just not going. <laughs> okay, y'all can be doing the Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. We got Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Pisces energy. Aquarius energy. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, okay? Some of you just not going for it. Clarify the Six of Cups. And it's like this person looks back on the time that y'all were happy together, or they were really happy. Yeah. Some of you, they want to come back to be stable. They want to show you, like, I can be the man for you. I got something to offer. I got, I, I got a good job. My money's up now. Like, I'm doing better. And now that I got that... See, some of here couldn't also be good to you either because their money wasn't looking good. Okay, that's not fair. But for some of you, it wasn't even about nobody else. It was about where they needed to be at in life. Okay, some of you that thirty, that thirty ticking time bomb was ticking. That forty time bomb was ticking. That fifty time time clock time bomb time clock was ticking. So they they're thinking, well, I need to be more of this. Somebody here wants you. They can be successful because they they see the type of woman or the type of man you are and it's motivating them to do their thing and get and get their self done. Like I said, some of you are accomplishing things. You're getting houses, you're getting new cars, you're you're really in the energy of just really being abundant because you're focusing on you. So this person's like, "Okay, well maybe if I focus on me and get my shit together, the collective will no doubtly take me back." Because if I'm in this toxic energy, sex addictions, not taking rehab, not doing what I need to do, whatever I got going on, Cutting off these pointless ass relationships with these certain people so that I can see my vision and see where I'm trying to go. I'm just out here just doing whatever. And some of you don't just want somebody who's out here doing whatever. You want somebody here who got something to, to prove. Not really to prove, but to prove to themselves they can be better than they were yesterday. Now, maybe this person thought in the past, oh, I'm just going to be out here sleeping with a bunch of honeys and this, that, and third. Well, somebody here is realizing that's not good for them. They're not able to do shit. They're not able to heal properly being around certain people. They're not able to manifest those things they want to manifest. Why? Because they're not living right. Realizing that they're still, they're staying up late at night trying to, trying to make ends meet. Losing more money that way. Somebody out here trapping to the sun come up and still don't got nothing to show for. 
But now that this person can get their is a little bit financially stable or getting their finances together, now they feel like they can really come and, and show you that love and that affection and, and be real and be open to you. Yeah. Now, now they can take action to show you who they really are. We got King of Swords, King of Wands, and the King of Cups. So really all signs are out here. Somebody got a strong feelings for you. Somebody here also thinks that you got somebody else too. <laughs> Somebody think that y'all got somebody else too, but like this, this person is really funny. They think you done got somebody else, honey. Yeah, because look, secrets fell right in my lap. So some of you, you know, this person feel like y'all got secrets. Y'all not telling them something. That's probably why they trying to be sneaky watching you from bank accounts because they feel like you, you love to know you wondering who you around and who you with and what you doing so what we got spirit what do they need to be aware of at this time show the collector what they need to know in here when it comes to the person that is on their mind So what else does a collector need to know, Spirit, when it comes to this person? <laughs> that they're heartbroken, I told y'all. Somebody here is very heartbroken. All right? Some of you, they don't try to give you a gift and maybe you weren't open for it. Okay? Maybe they feel like they're trying to offer you something, but you're not really taking it. And for some of you, they maybe get readings on you and they, they feel heartbroken for what the reader is telling them. You know? Clarify heartbreak. Yeah, shocking news. Okay. Yeah, see, somebody here wants a family with you. Or somebody here could have left you for another family situation. But whatever it is, either way, whether it's wanted with you or or, or got it with somebody else, Spirit says they are not happy. But for some of you, if they don't, if, if you have a family with this person, they're not happy where they are. Why? Because they feel like you're closing the cycle. For some of you... They're not happy with another situation because they they don't want that. They don't want that anymore. Okay? Tell me more. What else does the clip they need to be aware of? Yeah, we got bad news. All right, so somebody here could have got some bad news. Their person could have got... What is this bad news from the collector's person? The bad news is that you're moving on. Okay, some of you, that they've been trying to call you, text you, reach out to you. And the more they don't hear from you, the more they feel like I've lost a good thing. Okay? Moving on, letting go, loving. You freed yourself or you're freeing yourself from this person. And that's bad news. Look they, look how shocked he looks. Calling you, texting you, hitting, hitting this person up. But nothing is like, nothing is, is going their way. This person, it used to be so easy for this person to hit you up and see you. Now they can't. Yeah, why? And some of you, you moving on, you're letting go because you saw this person's true colors. You saw who they really were. And for some of you, they, they sit up and they think about the last thing that they did to you or said to you. Like, they stay up thinking about it. Your person loses sleep behind this. So, you end up seeing this person's true colors. But whatever this person, like I said, the last time they showed you who they were or you or they start or, you know, you call them out about it or whatever the case may be. They think about that. And they lose sleep behind that. Because for some of you, you are this person's wish fulfillment. And like I said, somebody here is anxious to know where you're at. But they also feel like it may just be too late. It may be too late. You're not you're not there anymore. You're not focused. You're not wanting to deal with that shit no more. You know? And like I said, for some of you, they're getting readings done on you. Okay? Yep. And, and it's, they, they, they're stuck on you. This ex-past person is stuck on you, collective. Getting readings done. Yep. And some of you, they, they kind of, they love you because like who you've shown them, but they hate, hate you also because you're not, you're not the same person anymore. Okay. They can't easily get stuff over your head. You've grown, you've matured. Yep. See, they feel like they stuck with all the feelings and you're just, you're, you're moving on. You're letting them go. They feel like they just got all this love for you and you just don't give a fuck no more. But at one point in time, this person showed you. And for some of you, you're not even like, oh, I'm going to show him. I don't care about him. Or No, you're not even in that. You're just like, 
I'm tired. I, I've seen who you are. I can't I can't roll with that. You're not giving me nothing to work with. Yep. For some of you, they're trying to stay busy, but they're not. They can't stay busy. They try, but it's fake busy. Like I said, they could be, especially if they're a trapper, out here all day long trying to make money, but they're probably not even making no money. They ain't making shit. So it, it'll be easy for them to go and lay up with somebody and promise them the world and get a little a little change. So that's that'll be easy. Okay, that's easy. Instead of them getting out here and being a man and working hard for what they want or getting out here being a woman, working hard for their desires and what they need out of life, for some reason this person wants the easy way. That's why it's hard. Because what's easy, it don't it don't have nothing to it. You get something so easy, you don't you don't appreciate it. It's more better when you work hard. And this person gonna have to work really, really hard for you. Like I said, that's why they gotta use every tool they can think of because it's not easy. It's a text or a call is not going to work. Sex is not going to work. Money is not going to work. Gifts, the latest back, it's not going to work. Somebody here got to dig deeper and really figure this shit out. And for some of you, it ain't about the cars, gifts, clothes, whatever. It needs to be about them. Some of you are like, I don't care about none of that stuff. I need you to work on you. I will be willing to take you back, but you've got to close out some cycles. You dealing with karmics and not healed, not right in the mind. You don't want to go to rehab. You're thinking or you don't want to go in and do heal yourself, prepare yourself. Y'all not going for that. And that's what ends up being this, keeping this person massive regret because they get themselves into shit that they don't even want to be a part of for real. So that's the word. Okay. <laughs> yep. And some of you are okay with finally closing this chapter because you know what you are wanting. You see all your hopes. Some of you, you thought you needed this person and you didn't. God it was like, I'm still show up. I'm still do what I got to do. Yep. So it's like this person got to stay busy because they're holding on to this regret, this pain, this hurt that they caused you. Yeah, somebody fucked up over you. Look, male or female, somebody here cannot get you off their mind. Mm -mm -mm. Yep. So let's see. Let's get a time frame for y'all. Let's see what time frame will be significant here. Oops. So we can get the collective of time frame for the person that is on their mind. What's the significant time frame? What is the significant? Okay. What is the significant? Okay, all these are just coming on out. Dang it. Hold on, y'all. So some of you, we got festive season, okay? That's to me is like fall time, I guess. Would it be festive season? <laughs> fall time for me. I feel like that's like fall. So maybe fall time. Okay, what significant time frames do you have for the collective and the person they're thinking about? Y'all got to be patient, Spirit said. Patience. Because see, this person got a lot going on. Y'all see all the rocks? They got a lot going on. See, I told y'all something about October. What else? What time frame is significant? Spirit said when you let go, when you release resistance. Okay. Okay, let me ask this spirit. When can the collective, will there be some type of a commitment coming from the collective's person? Okay, so look, told y'all false. That's, some of you, this y'all two of may end up being like one of this person. Because I feel like whatever they're going through right now, this stuff, your person's still in something that they're stuck in or feel like they're stuck in. Your person's still not healed. So if y'all take this person back now, I feel like y'all going to regret it. Something right now may not be looking like it's going to be anything than what it's been. So that's why you're pulling your energy. That's why you're closing the cycle, which y'all are doing the right thing by closing the cycle. Because see, what it is, is it giving this person, how bad do you want the collective? How bad are you willing to change and get yourself together for the collective? Is it, is, if this is a woman or the man that you always getting readings on you're missing them you can't stop blowing up their phone you you want to talk to them you want you want it so bad but how bad do you want the collective that you'll change your ways you know how, how will we get out here and get you a job get yourself together build that your wealth up you know build yourself up how bad do you want the collective or are you just going to want to just live off somebody for the rest of your life be a hoe out here 
play around, get yourself in drama, keep yourself in and out of jail. Like, like what is it giving? Because I feel like regardless, you're going to move forward. Some of you are open to giving this person another chance, but this person got to work hard for it. Like, very, very hard. Okay, for some of you, you feel like nothing comes good when you do let this person around you. Okay? Yeah, see, that's why y'all like, I'm okay with taking breaks. I'm okay with, like, leaving, like, letting this go. Because I, I, I need I need a break. I'm, I'm tired of the same results. Okay, I keep taking you back for what? You're not planning on marrying me anytime soon. You're not going to stop cheating. You're not going to stop dealing with me and whoever else. Me and another karmic. I'm tired of going back and forth with her or him about your ass. Okay? They can have you. That's why for some also why this karmic sees you as a threat. Because this karmic enjoyed arguing with you and fighting over you about this person. And now that they see that you're not really giving a fuck and posting or anything. Now they're kind of like, oh shit. Well, now I got them. But do it. now they're looking at you. Now they're looking at the person like, oh shit. Is this worth fighting for? I wonder why, why, why Collective quit fucking with him. Well, I wonder what, what happened. Some of them, they got the big head and thought that thought that he, that your person was the one that stopped dealing with you. But when they checked your person's phone or start putting two, two, two and two together, this person was so mad and angry all the time. Like, let's say, let, let's say like your person was like, oh, baby, I got to run to the store real quick. Oh, let me, let me run to tell the car. Oh, baby, let me run to the store real quick. Let me use your car. I got to run to the store. Okay. I'll have dinner ready for you when you get back. Well, they they not knowing the whole time they go into the store in the car calling you blowing your phone up trying to see you where you at i'm about to pull up on you can i come see you for a second <laughs> they going crazy and for some of you now that you don't want the want your person now the karma sees you as a threat because they feel like well you know it's just like this, this karma thinks weirdly like they miss fighting with you. It's like they miss arguing about this person with you. But you moving on, you letting go, you love you, you done freed yourself. <laughs> okay. Any it will there be commitment. So something in April could have happened. Okay. I know that was the like, Mercury retrograde. So some of you something in April could have happened. But something in summer can also take place too with this person. So we got festive season, patience is required when you let go, fall, spirits, take a break from this. You got other things to focus on. Some of you need to get back into journaling, you know, getting yourself together. Some of you are preparing yourself for winter time. I don't know if you, not, and for me to say that, either preparing yourself for either for summer or winter, okay? Um, but something in April could have been significant. Somebody's birthday could have been in April. Somebody's birthday is in the fall, festive season. So I don't know. I feel like something here is going to take place later this year. I don't feel like it's going to happen anytime soon. Because right now I'm not seeing any stability on your person's end. They're going through this ten of wands, the devil, temperance in reverse, magician in reverse. It's it's no good. So y'all both need to break from each other. Y'all need to heal. Y'all need to work on yourselves. Okay? So that's what I have for y'all collective. I hope y'all enjoyed y'all's reading. And I'll talk to y'all later. Peace.